Real Deform의 새 PD 그리고 첫 번째 디플로맷 나누리입니다. 그럼 오늘의 주인공 국가를 소개하겠습니다. 오늘의 주인공 국가는 바로 슬로바키아입니다, 여러분. 슬로바키아예요. The Slovak Republic is located in the heart of Europe, connecting Eastern and Western Europe. The country is about 50,000 square kilometers in area, about a quarter of the size of the Korean Peninsula, and its capital is Bratislava. The population is 5.43 million, and the official language is Slovak. Slovakia, a landlocked country, has nine national parks and is sometimes called the Green Oasis of Europe. There are as many as 180 castles and historic sites amid a beautiful natural environment. Bratislava Castle and Bojnice Castle are loved by tourists for their fairy tale-like scenery. One of the most important days in Slovak history is January 1, 1993, when the current Slovak Republic was established after the so-called Velvet Divorce of the former Czechoslovakia. It joined the United Nations shortly thereafter, and also joined NATO and the EU in 2004. On March 22, 1990, Korea and Czechoslovakia established diplomatic relations. Following the split of the former Czechoslovakia, diplomatic relations were re-established on January 1, 1993. 오늘의 주인공 국가가 슬로바키아인 이유. 바로 슬로바키아에서 초초 초특급 게스트가 한국에 오시기 때문인데요. 누구냐고요? 초특급 게스트가 누구인지는 조금만 있다가 공개하도록 할게요. 그럼 여러분 저는 지금 그 초특급 게스트를 마중하러 나가보도록 하겠습니다. 여러분 같이 가시죠. 갑시다. 렛츠고. 선생님 저희 오늘 가는데 가보셨어요? 아니요. 처음 가봐요. 저도요. 저희가 갈 일이 없긴 하죠. 거기. 그렇죠. I wonder if this guy knew a special guest was coming from afar. It is really clear today. And this is our destination. 제가 마중을 나왔습니다. 그리고 특별한 선물도 준비했어요. 이 꽃과 저희가 자주 선물로 드리는 이 도장. Let me show you where we are. This is Seoul Kimpo Business Aviation Center. This center is for business and private aircraft users. Before our guests arrived in Korea, there was someone else I had to meet. Hi. Let me introduce the Slovak ambassador to Korea. I had a quick chat with the ambassador about how we would film today here. I want to have this kind of background. So you cannot do it that way. 2시 10분에 도착한다고 하셨거든요. 지금 1시 53분. The time of arrival for our special guest nears. 오셨어요. Our extra special guest has arrived. Let me introduce our guest to you. The Minister of Foreign and European Affairs of Slovakia. My name is Nurina. I'm from Arirang TV. I gave the gift we prepared to the minister. How nice. Thank a, you ever so much. No, gift. Uh, what is that? Actually, this is a Korean-style stamp. This is your name in Korea. I was curious if this was his first trip to Korea. Is this your first time visiting Korea? Yeah. Oh. This is uh, my first time uh, to be in Korea. And I'm looking forward to many uh, meetings and uh, discussions. Mm -hmm. uh, an exchange of views uh, with uh, the Korean partner and mm -hmm. counterparts, not only on economical, but also uh, political and security issues as well. Mm -hmm. I would like to so-called upgrade our relationship uh, from the intensive economical to the political as well as other fears through the strategic partnership of uh, Slovakia and uh, Republic of Korea. Mm -hmm. I hope that too. So we decided to talk more next day. He must be tired today, 
so I think I should let him go. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you. Thank you Thank very, you very much. much. I was going to let the minister leave after taking off his mic. Fuck him. Thank you. I am spokesperson. But he came back and left us a word. Okay, <laughs> From today, the Weird Diplomats team will closely follow the itinerary of Slovakia's top diplomat, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Today is the day of the meeting between the Minister of Unification of Korea and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Slovakia. We found the bus near the Unification Ministry. We hurried to get on the bus. This is the press script that came to cover the Slovak Foreign Minister's visit to Korea. Our schedule for today will be with them. We've entered the ministry grounds. The Slovak press instantly turned on their work mode as soon as they got off the bus. I was very impressed by the way they filmed and covered Korea every time they had the opportunity. Slovakia! Finally, the two ministries are here. What will be discussed today? Tokanga Slovakia 있을 I focused hard on what was being discussed during the meeting. Slovakia supports all effort by the Republic of Korea to ensure nuclear disarmament, prosperity and peace on the Korean Peninsula. The Slovak Republic uh, government is concerned about the military cooperation and weapon transfer between the DP RK and uh, Russia, and these undermine the peace in Europe as well as uh, on the Korean Peninsula. We used to be a social uh, uh, country, and we transferred to a capitalistic country, and we had the experience with uh, this transition, and uh, this is something which can uh, be uh, shared with you with the re uh, within the reunification of uh, of uh, Korean nation. A lot of interesting topics were discussed. After the meeting, we had a brief chance to meet with Minister Blanar. Samotnej návšteve Korej, čo je jej cieľom, či máte nejaké očakávania od tunajších podnikateľov, či máte záujem získať nejaké nové investície pre Slovensko, tak komplexne celá návšteva v Korej. 
Korea je pre nás veľmi významný obchodný partner a investor, ako som povedal. A chceme, aby táto ekonomická spolupráca v tej oblasti, ktorá už je veľmi známa aj pre Koreu, ale aj pre nás, či už je to výroba automobilov, alebo televízorov Samsung, alebo iných elektronických zariadení známa. Chceme to posunúť do vyššej úrovne, okrem tejto, aj do inovácií, do tzv. výskumných centier s vyššou pridanou hodnotou. Questions about regional security and the situation in Ukraine also followed. To bola jedna z vecí, ktorú sme preberali a zároveň sme preberali aj situáciu na Ukrajine. Zaujímal sa pán minister o náš postoj na Ukrajine a o postoj Európskej únie ako takej. A ja som jasne deklaroval postoj našej vlády, že nevidíme nejaké vojenské riešenie tohto konfliktu. A preto voláme po mierovom riešení. Informoval som o tom, že budeme účastní na úrovni predsedu vlády na samite mierovom v Švajčiarsku, kde bude prítomná aj Južná Korea. Avšak som vyjadril také poľutovanie, že nebudú tam tí hlavní aktéry, ktorých sa to bude týkať. A to sú predovšetkým Ruská federácia, ale aj Čína ktorá zohráva významnú úlohu v geopolitickom priestore v súčasnosti. I also asked a question. Slovakia went through a transition from socialism to capitalism. Right. So you said this experience could help dealing with the Korean Peninsula issue. Yes, so could you elaborate on this yeah, a little bit? Why not? Mm. We have the experience with the, uh, the social order mm -hmm. and we transform our economy to the capitalistic order. After the end of the Cold War in 1989, the socialist countries of Eastern Europe began to transition to a market economy system. For reference, 1989 was before the separation of the Czech Republic and Slovakia. And at that time, Czechoslovakia, like other communist countries, was experiencing a serious economic crisis. Looking at Czechoslovakia's economic situation from 1990 to 1992, compared to 1989, GDP decreased to 74% of what it had been, and consumer spending fell to one-third. After Slovakia became an independent republic, Prime Minister Vladimir Mečiar took office in 1993, and the Slovak economy began to show signs of recovery. However, due to the regime's closed economic policies and increased foreign debt, Slovakia once again suffered an economic recession. This all changed when Prime Minister Miklas Jurinda took office in 1998. After the 2002 parliamentary election, Slovakia formed the most market-friendly government in Central and Eastern Europe. It later joined the EU in 2004. From that point on, foreign investment increased significantly, and the real economic growth rate began to show an upward trend. Slovakia experienced strong economic growth in the early 2000s and earned the nickname Tatra Tiger. This was just like Korea when it was considered one of the four Asian tigers during its period of rapid economic growth. And we have uh uh, good experience uh, how to do it mm. and we know that is very painful uh, process and sometimes it's good to know uh, these, uh, these advantages and to avoid uh, any problem so uh, as I said uh, we are ready to share our experience with mm. the Korean partner mm. when uh, the Korean Peninsula will be reunified. So you have more place to talk with Ministry of Unification in Korea? Yeah, I, th I think so, and uh, even we don't have such a ministry because it's a very unique ministry. But anyway, we can share some uh, experience uh, between our ministers and our uh, countries. And I hope that the strategic uh, partnership uh, agreement, uh, which we want to achieve together mm -hmm. with your country and our country, will uh, create the foundation for such a cooperation. The partnerships Korea forms with other countries include Comprehensive Strategic Alliance, 
Strategic Cooperative Partnership. Strategic Partnership, Comprehensive Cooperative Partnership, Mutually Trustful and Comprehensive Partnership, and Comprehensive Partnership, and more. Other than the Comprehensive Strategic Alliance, other relations are partnerships. The word strategic is often used when the level of exchange and cooperation has increased in various fields such as economy and politics between two countries or when bilateral relations escalate. If Korea and Slovakia become strategic partners in the near future, it means that the two countries will cooperate and exchange more. The busy schedule continued on the 14th. Minister Blanar and his delegation visited Ulsan. Ulsan is one of Korea's leading industrial cities, with many factories in fields such as automobiles, shipbuilding, petrochemicals, and non-ferrous metals. The city is home to Hyundai Motor Company's Ulsan plant, which is the heart of the Hyundai Motor Group, and the world's number one shipyard, Hyundai Heavy Industries. The minister first met with Ulsan mayor. During the meeting, the two sides discussed expanding exchanges between Slovakia and Ulsan. And he also had some very exciting news. The Slovak Honorary Consulate in Korea has opened here. Lee Yong Jin, representative director of Hanju Light Medal, was appointed as honorary consul. Hanju Light Medal finished construction of a plant in Slovakia two years ago and has been maintaining active exchanges with the country since then. Let's move on to the ministry's third day in Korea. 저는 여기 외교부에가 있습니다. The Korea-Slovakia Foreign Ministers meeting is being held here today. What kind of discussion will come and go today? Very good morning and warm welcome to you, Mr. Minister, and to your delegation. Well, I know that uh, you have already a very tight but uh, productive and rewarding schedule in both Seoul and Busan. Slovak Republic and the uh, Republic of Korea cherish uh, peace and international law. We both adhere to the UN chapter principles and share the same domestic uh, democratic values. This is the foundation of uh, the strategic partnership to be reflected in the document and I hope that uh, we will have a time to elaborate this a little bit more uh, because we think that we would like to uh, alleviate our cooperation to the High level. And uh, I would like also today reiterate our standing in invitation for you and the President Yun uh, in Slovakia because uh, the last uh, presidential visit was uh, back to 2018. Uh, I know that uh, our two leaders already met uh, uh, during the NATO summit meeting. Uh, last year, and our two prime ministers also had a meeting uh, taking advantage of the Davos Forum last year. So, and you are now here as a foreign minister. So, we have already uh, witnessed a uh, very frequent exchange of visits at the highest level. Uh, this is very important to elevate our bilateral relations to the next level. Actually, today is the last day of the Slovak delegation's visit to Korea. So after the foreign minister's meeting, I decided to have a brief conversation with Slovak journalists. On our program, we call everyone who plays a role in connecting Korea and other countries a diplomat. You know that by now, right? By our standard, 
All the Slovak journalists here are also diplomats. My name is Katarina Kolenčakova. Mm -hmm. I'm from uh, Public Service Radio and mm -hmm. Television mm -hmm. of Slovakia. Mm -hmm. So, what would you like to cover more about Korea-Slovak relations in the future? Maybe uh, some cooperation between our companies, or like because, as I said, maybe Hyundai or Kia, because Kia is a big investor in Slovakia. This is the topic. Maybe like interviews uh, with someone from Kia or Hyundai or, or something like that. I'm uh, Marek Gudiak. I'm from uh, Slovakian national uh, television. Uh -huh and uh, I'm news reporter. What would you like to cover more about Korea and Slovak relations in the future? We need more time to spend here and to know <laughs> your uh, special things uh -huh. uh, that is characteristic mm -hmm. for Korean people, ah. to meet more Korean ah. people and to hear their opinions yeah. and their lifestyle wow. and uh, about this, I you think. You want to meet more Korean people? Yes. Oh. Okay, so what was the most interesting part, like, during this trip? This trip. Uh -huh. uh, the visit of uh, uh, Hyundai oh. uh, Motors uh -huh. in Ulsan. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting because it's the hugest uh, uh, plant uh, in, in the world. Uh -huh. Also, it's a part of the port. Mm. And they have their own yes, port right. uh, to transfer uh, the cars uh, to all the world, and it is really interesting. Yeah. It's very nice. So, will you visit Korea again? I hope so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, then we should meet again. Okay. When you visit Korea again. If they come to Korea next time, I would like to have a deeper conversation with them. Slovakia! How did you find Minister Blanard's four days in Korea? The minister's visit to Korea was the first official visit by a Slovakian foreign minister in 11 years. Slovakia's top diplomat came all the way to Korea, so we can't just send him away, right? We will have a one-on-one -on -one interview with the minister. And the interview begins now. So you hope to elevate our partnership to the strategy partnership? Right? Yeah, definitely, definitely, because uh, we consider your country as a, uh, the most important Asian partner. Mm -hmm. We uh, put into our uh, governmental uh, uh, manifesto uh, mm -hmm. uh, to strengthen the economical part of diplomacy. It was not usual uh, in our country. Mm -hmm. As a new government, we put it into our manifesto. And this is uh, another business uh, trip uh, to your country and we would like to elevate uh, to uh, this uh, cooperation to another strategic level mm. to discuss also not only uh, this economical and cooperation uh, issues but also the political uh, global security issues and to find a ground for a uh, common ground how to cooperate in this level and also uh, to open the new gate for uh, new investors uh, from uh, from South Korea, so-called into the value-added uh, uh, sector, like in uh, research, R&D, innovation, and green technology as mm -hmm. well, and also uh, nuclear uh, energy, which is very important uh, uh, issue in Slovakia right now. Mm -hmm. And I hope that we will have uh, very soon prepared this uh, strategic uh, partnership uh, document for signing or for our prime ministers as uh, earlier as possible. And I think that uh, it could be at the end of this uh, year and probably beginning of the next year. Mm. We will see. Mm. Did you know that there is a special relationship between Minister Blanar and Korean companies? Actually, he served as chairman of Jelena from 2005 to 2017. And this is where Kia Motors is in operation. So, what impact did the construction of this factory have on the local economy? Yeah, we really appreciate this first investment. And it was uh, the first experience because it was uh, my first uh, mandate uh, when the Kia investment came to, came to uh, Zilina mm -hmm. and uh, it was uh, 
good for us because of uh, uh, high unemployment rate at that time. Mm -hmm. We were facing uh, to a very high unemployment rate and uh, Zhilina is a well located uh, city with uh, infrastructure connected, international connected and uh, also not only on the road infrastructure but also the railway infrastructure and and also uh, we have a labor force uh, very experienced in this industry because uh, Slovakia used to be doing uh, the ex Czechoslovakia industrial uh, country and uh, especially this part we were focused uh, very much on the uh, defense industry mm -hmm. and many many uh, educated people and uh, labor force uh, was there for this so it was a big uh, start for a, a further development uh, in our region because mm -hmm. many sub suppliers come to to Zilina uh, not only from uh, uh, from South Korea, uh, but also from our country, and this uh, has uh, impact very much uh, our region. And also, I have a good experience uh, uh, in cooperation with uh, Kia uh, and uh, Hyundai Mobis because they are just beside each other uh, in the middle education. Uh, because uh, as a president of the region, I was uh, responsible for the middle education and we tried to establish uh, cooperation uh, in this field. And it was very successful and uh, fruitful cooperation at that time. Mm. Then how many Korean companies are in Slovakia? Let's find out. There are about 70 Korean companies that are currently operating in Slovakia. Major companies include Kia Motors and Samsung Electronics. In April 2007, Kia Motors invested 1 billion euros in Zelina, located in the central north region of Slovakia, completing the construction of a factory capable of producing 300,000 cars per year. It was the first factory in Europe whose investment came exclusively from a Korean automaker. The event was quite significant in the bilateral economic relationship. In 2022, 311,000 cars were produced at the Zelina plant, and 9 out of 10 cars produced there are exported throughout Europe. Parts are needed for car manufacturing. So, in Zelina and the surrounding area, there are partner companies for auto parts from Korea. Meanwhile, in 2002, Samsung Electronics Slovakia production company was established in the Galanta region located 50 kilometers from the capital Bratislava. TVs are produced here. Partners and logistics companies related to TV production are located in the nearby region. Since diplomatic ties were established in 1992, Korean companies have been steadily advancing into Slovakia. Investment was active in the mid to late 2000s, but slowed for a while. In 2022 and 2023, however, there was a rebound in the amount of investment and the number of new corporations. So last year, the Korea-Slovakia summit was held on the sidelines of NATO summit. So can you look forward to another summit between the leaders of the two countries soon, maybe? Yeah, of course. Uh, as I said, we are looking forward to uh, leaders uh, summit uh, where uh, can be uh, this uh, strategic partnership signed. Because, uh, as I said, uh, South Korea is a uh, very important partner for us. And uh, we have some uh, occasional uh, meetings uh, on the side of, uh, for example, NATO uh, ministerial. Like uh, last time I met uh, my counterpart from uh, uh, South Korea and to share our views. Uh, and I think that uh, we would like to uh, invite uh, the high officials of uh, South Korea to Slovakia because the last visit of uh, my uh, predecessor was in 2013 and now I am here. Uh, the last uh, visit of the president was in 2018 as far as, as, far as I know. Mm -hmm. So I would like to invite foreign minister and also successor of uh, 
of uh, the Prime Minister. And also we would like to uh, invite uh, President to Slovakia because this is uh, something which uh, helps us uh, to strengthen our ties mm. and to finalize our uh, strategic partnership, uh, as I mentioned, which is very important for Slovakia. An interesting performance has been prepared to celebrate the Minister's visit to Korea. These students are studying in the Department of Czech and Slovak Studies of Hanguk University of Foreign Studies. They prepared traditional Slovak dance for today. Diplomats connecting Korea and Slovakia. I found them here again. Now that I have met another diplomat, I'll have to interview them, right? Okay, so first, could you introduce yourself to our viewers? Hello, I'm uh, Terezia Kulíková. I am from Slovakia. So first of all, we were all very excited and very happy to be here. I was very proud of my students because uh, all of these students are freshmen, mm -hmm. so they are not studying uh, Czech and Slovak studies for a very long time. It's been only, I think, four weeks uh, for them to learn these dances. Uh, so they did it very well in very short amount of time. In the meantime, while having midterms as well. Mm. So I think they're excellent students uh, and they put in a lot of effort. And you could see that today that uh, they also enjoyed it. So about how many students are in the Czechoslovak department? There are around 140 students uh, in four years of uh, Czech and Slovak studies. Um, currently, there are 40 of them coming to classes of Slovak language, Slovak language and culture as well. Future diplomats that can connect Korea and Slovakia. I think we can meet a lot in the future as well. This week, we closely followed the schedule of the Slovak Minister of Foreign Affairs during his visit to Korea and observed how diplomacy is carried out between top diplomats and high-ranking government officials. Meeting people from various fields and seeing the minister and his delegation making great efforts to bring the relationship between our two countries closer, I felt that all sectors that make up our lives and society are targets of diplomacy. Dear diplomats connecting Korea and Slovakia, please continue to work harder so that the two countries can get to know each other and become closer.
나름 슬로바키아 국기 색깔에서 영감을 얻었습니다. 빨강, 흰색, 남색. 감사합니다. 딱히 안. 딱히 안. 딱히 안.